Hey foot fixers, welcome to this video. I'm Ted Jednak. You're about to discover the three crucial keys to help patients with osteoarthritis in the midfoot. How many of your patients over 50 complain of arthritis somewhere in their feet? What about the 60 plus year olds? Heaps, hey? The literature tells us that arthritis or osteoarthritis, the wear and tear, it's a significant cause of foot pain in older adults. So what do we typically do for people with osteoarthritis in their foot joints? Rest? Sure, that can relieve symptoms but does nothing for treating the problem. Anti-inflammatory medications. Well, this is the most commonly used treatment intervention, but again, it doesn't treat the cause of the problem, only the symptoms or the effect. And then there's the side effects of anti-inflammatory medications. <laughs> they can be worse than you know, the problem that they're actually supposed to be treating. What else can you recommend for your osteoarthritis patients? Orthotic therapies? Inosols? Rocker bottom shoes? What about surgery? I've had many midfoot osteoarthritis patients consult with me because they didn't want surgery. Now, of course, we know that surgery should be the last resort. All conservative treatment options should be exhausted before considering surgery. So what can we do conservatively to help patients with osteoarthritis in the mid tarsus? Now this includes those rigid Pez cavus feet too. Well, there's three crucial keys to help those feet. First, we need to accurately identify that osteoarthritis is present. Consider the um, clinical presentations of pain, uh, osteophytes, uh, range of motion and history, but the best objective tool is a weight-bearing plain film x-ray. This diagnostic image will show you in black and white, literally, how much cartilage is still present. If there's no joint space, meaning no cartilage, it's unlikely that the conservative treatment I'm going to suggest will help. However, if there is joint space, meaning hyaline cartilage is present on the x-ray, that's a big tick. Key number two to help those stuck midfeet is to generate movement. As you know, stimulation of synovial fluid for regenerating the worn cartilage, that's crucial for osteoarthritic joints. Movement is the number one factor that stimulates synovial fluid production. And that brings me to crucial key number three, which is mobilize the affected joints. Now two mobilization elements apply here. One, you the practitioner, you need to specifically and accurately mobilize the cuneiforms, so, and you do that within patient's tolerance levels. Now this action alone will increase the mobility and motion in the joints in a very short period of time, literally in one to two weeks. And your senior patients, they will love you for it, let me tell you. The cuneiform mobilization is just one of the foot mobilization techniques we teach you in our FMT trainings. Just think of how many of your patients will benefit from improved relief and mobility in their midfoot. The second mobilization element is to teach your patients how to mobilize the midfoot themselves. The easiest and most effective option is to use some high-tech equipment like this. Yep, a tennis ball. Now, while a tennis ball isn't as specific as joint mobilization, it will still have benefits. You gotta teach your patient how to roll their foot over the tennis ball so that they get the forefoot and rear foot flexing over the tennis ball at the midfoot. Make sense? Great. So that's the three crucial keys to help osteoarthritis in the midfoot. One, accurately confirm osteoarthritis is present. Two, movement is essential for synovial fluid production. And three, mobilize the affected joints accurately and have your patient mobilize the area with the tennis ball. Do these three things and you're going to be astounded at the impact you'll have on your senior arthritic patients without any nasty side effects. You might even be able to support patients in reducing their medication or even ditching it altogether. The other great bonus of mobilizing the midfoot is forefoot relief of net head and digital conditions. How cool is that? You see, when you improve the mobility of the cuneiform metatarsal joints, 
The metatarsicals and dorsi flex much more easily, especially in rigid pes cavus feet. And with that eased dorsiflexion, it dissipates the ground reaction forces in the forefoot, and they can be eas more easily spread and diffused. You can discover all of the finer details of this midfoot mobilization technique in our new FMT trainings happening in 2019. Not to mention the other seven awesome mobilizations you'll also master. The best ever offer for the 2019 FMT trainings is available this week only. Our Black Friday offer with the never to be repeated fees ends this Friday, November 23. So click all the link, click the link, get all the deets on how you can achieve spectacular results for your osteoarthritis patients the very next day. If you don't undertake this fantastic CPD option, foot mobilization therapies, what other treatment options are you going to suggest for your arthritis patients? Will your patients seek help elsewhere because you didn't provide the relief they were seeking? Remember, your patient's futures are in your hands. So why not make your hands the most useful tools in your toolkit? Click the link and discover how you can take your clinical skills and expertise to the next level right now. Until next time, serve with spirit, consult with care, and fix more feet today.